up and welcome back to my channel. So today we are continuing the decluttering series and as you can see we are doing my highlighter drawer today. This is one that is in desperate need of some decluttering. This is actually my highlighter and face palette drawer which if we have enough time I might actually do my face palettes in this video as well. So yeah I'm not going to ramble on too much. If you want to see what we get rid of then just keep on watching. Alright so if there's one thing that I don't use like ever it is liquid highlighters. I don't know why but I just never grab for them. So what I'm going to do is just look for any like cream or liquid highlighters that I never use for example this one by Max and more what else I have one by and other stories that is like purple so that can definitely go um, this stick one by the beauty bakery again I never use I don't know why I bought these um, but yeah, I've just come to the realization that I never use these. I have another stick one by Max and More that can go. This one by um, Primark, which was really good. But again, for someone that never uses these, I have way too many. So I have another one by Essence. What else do we have in here? This is a Super Shock by Colourpop. But again, I don't like creams. And this just doesn't really sit on my skin that nicely, I've noticed. So bye bye. Then I have a stick by Catrice. Again never use it um i have a small one by elf um what else this one by max and morrigan i have a pixie by petra highlighter which um i have another one right here which i prefer this one is the um, Aspen Overheart Collapse, so I'm going to give this one to a friend or family. Again, everything that is expired is going in the trash. Everything that is not is going to friends and family. I see another one by Catrice. This is just a powder highlighter, but I never reach for it. And it just needs to go and make room for new ones. Same with this one by Primark. This is just a little bit too dark for me. This is a Wicon um, Stick Highlighter, which is beautiful, but again... I don't use it, so I shouldn't be keeping it. I have another one by Catrice, which is going bye-bye. And then I have another one by Primark, which I actually really enjoyed. So I might hold on to this one. I'll put it in my maybe pile. This is another one by Catrice that can go. I never reach for it. This one has like a yellow undertone, which I've come to the conclusion that I hate highlighters that have a yellow undertone. So this will be passed on as well. Then I have a few more liquid highlighters these ones by Tarte are really good but I think this one is my favorite so this one can go it's just a little bit more cool toned and then I have this one by Catrice which was okay but again shouldn't be keeping it so I'm only going to keep one um, cream highlighter for now this one is by Savannah Colors but I don't use it it's too intense and too blinding then I have a few of these highlighting palettes by Catrice and Essence mm, this one can go doesn't really do a lot this one I really enjoyed, so that can stay. And then this one by Essence can also go because I do prefer the glow to go one. This one is, by the way, so beautiful and so intense. I love it. Um, then we have a few more palettes in the back here. Let me see. This one by Catrice. Um, mm, nah, can go. This one by The Balm I'm going to keep. I really, really, really love this. And then I have one by Flower, which I also really enjoy. So these can stay. I'll put them in the back here with the Essence one. Then I have another palette. This is by Sleek. This is really pretty. So definitely keeping. And then I have a Physician's Formula highlighter. Mm. Yeah, this can go. It's too old. I have one loose highlighter by Colourpop, which I haven't really played around with that much. So I want to give it another shot. What else? Heart Candy. Way too old then i have one by abh which is so pretty so this one can stay and then i have these two la girl ones which i used to really enjoy but i don't really love them as much anymore so i'm going to say goodbye i'm going to keep one shade you see they're pretty but they are also very powdery so mm. yeah i'm going to keep this one which is called 100 watt Then I have another one by Primark here. This is way too cool toned But on the other hand, I don't really have a lot of cool tone highlighters. So Might hold on to it for now This one by P2 can go. It's not really it doesn't really do a lot this Milani one I'm going to keep and then I have this essence one, which is so gimmicky. I don't like it It just doesn't look good on the skin same with this glazed donut one by essence the packaging is beautiful the highlighter is 
very 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 average um this one by essence i do really enjoy so i'm keeping this one this was a limited edition one i don't know if i got along with it mm, yeah that's actually a pretty like subtle highlighter so this one can stay and then i also have my mac um oh darling which I know it's not cruelty free, but I do want to use it up because I do really enjoy that. All right, moving on, I have this one by Wet n Wild, which everyone raves about this. This is in the shade Precious Petals, but honestly, I'm not the biggest fan. So I'm going to declutter that. And then I have my two Becca highlighters. I'm going to keep both of them. I love them. I have Opal and Champagne Pop. And then I have my Fenty Beauty highlight, which is the Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal Duo. Um, I love this. Again, going to keep it. This one is the pixie one that I was talking about. I'm going to keep it, but it is shattered, which is such a bummer. Um, but I'm going to hold on to it. This one by Essence was really, really, really beautiful. And the quality was amazing, but it's a little bit too dark for me. My Laura Geller one, definitely keeping. I love that. My Tarte one is also one that I really enjoy. This is in Exposed. It's just a mini one, but I do really love it for traveling. Then I have this uh, Pupa one, which I got recently, so keeping it. And then I have another one by Pupa, which I also really enjoy. So these ones can stay. Alright, moving on to my Colourpop ones. I'm going to keep all of them. I just really, really, really love them. Um, this one by AOA can go. It's just not really, I don't know, it's underwhelming. Um, then I have this one by Too Faced, which again is very loved by me. As you can see so I am definitely holding on to this one and also the packaging is just so cute then I have another one by Essence um, I didn't really get along with this even though the packaging is adorable um, so this can go I have an Urban Decay highlighter um, really pretty in the shade Sin so I'm keeping this we have a Lorac highlighter in Daylight love this keeping and then the last highlighter we have in here is this one by Kiko, which is actually really pretty. So that can stay as well. So we actually did a really good job on these. So what I'm going to do is actually keep my maybe. This was the Primark one. That way I have two liquid highlighters left, which is way more reasonable. Uh, so now I'm going to just rearrange it a little bit and then we are done. So now I actually have an entire row right here that is completely empty, which is good. I might actually put my bronzers in here as well, um, but for now, this looks amazing and way better. So I'm actually going to move on to my face palettes because this video isn't too long, I think. Alright, so let's move on to my face palettes. Um, right off the bat, I can say that I want to keep this one by Rach Loves and Pixie. It's so pretty, I just got it. So this one can stay. Um, what else do I have in here? I have three Makeup Revolution palettes. Um, this one is the Highlight palette. Let me just see. This one can go. The Ultra Contour palette. Um, I might keep this one because it has a lot of shades in it. And then we have the Ultra Blush palette, which I might keep as well. All right, not off to a great start. Um, this one by Max and more I'm going to get rid of. I don't really like the quality. Um, I'm just checking to see which ones I definitely want to get rid of. This is another one that I should throw away. This is the ABH Contour Palette. This is one that really started it all for me. I loved this for so many years, but it's old and it's time to retire this. Another one that I don't really like is this one by Colourpop. Um, the shades in here are actually beautiful, but they are all like creams. And as you guys know, I don't really wear a lot of creams, so this one can go. Alright, what else do we have in here? Mm. This is a empty Wecom palette that has my NYX Depotted blushes in, but honestly, I never reach for this, so I'm just going to throw these away and give this palette to my um, friend that is a makeup artist, because she might actually be able to use it. Um, then I have a Max and More Contour palette, which again, I mean, I have so many palettes, I don't need this. I'm not going to use it, I don't grab for it. So I am going to keep my MAC Blush Palette, I love these. I'm going to keep my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, which is also very loved. 
I'm going to keep my Morphe blush palette because this just has beautiful, beautiful shades in it. And then even though this is really bulky, I am going to keep my Tarte blush palette because I just really, really, really love the shades. Um, I have two ABH highlighting palettes. I have Moonchild, which is quite original. Honestly, never use it, but I just don't know why. I don't want to throw it away. And then the um, Nicole Guerrero palette, which is such an oldie but a goodie. So these two can stay. Then I have this one by Primark, the Fierce one, which I'm actually going to get rid of because it was really patchy when I used it. So it can go. And then these are the ones I'm keeping as well. All right, moving on. I have this one by Catrice, which is like a blush, um, but again, never reach for it. Bye-bye. This K-pop Sweet Cheeks one, although it is really, really, really cute. This is my primer, by the way. I never reach for it, so I don't know. Should I keep it? I also have this one by Primark. Which one should I keep? I think I'm going to hold on to this one by Primark because I would use those shades more. Oh, no, this is going in the maybe pile. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Um, I have this small palette by Tarte, which I enjoy, so I actually might put them in here. Why not? Um, then I have this one by Colourpop, which I use all the time for traveling. I love this. It's been so used and abused, so I'm keeping it. I have the Naked Flush by Urban Decay. I'm going to get rid of this. Never reach for it. I have this one by e.l.f., which is, again, way too old. Shouldn't be keeping that. Um, what else do we have in here? This one by I Love Makeup, which I don't think exists anymore, but I did really enjoy it, so I'm going to keep it. Um, this one by Catrice. I did like it. Yeah, these shades are really pretty, so I'm going to keep it. And then I have another one by Essence, the Hey Cheeks one. Um, might keep it as well for now. If I don't use it, I'm going to declutter it um, later on. Then I have two Zoeva palettes. I love these, so I'm going to keep them. Then we have the Catrice Romantic Gardens palette. Mm. I'll keep it for now too, but I never reach for it. So if I don't reach for it um, by my next declutter, it is going. This is my Jaclyn Hill palette. I am never going to get rid of this. I love this so much. Um, so this one can stay. Then we have an e.l.f. blush palette which again really old what else do we have i have this tarte palette which has blushes in it i love this it has two sides it's really compact so i'm going to hold on to that and then we have three palettes left this one is by makeup geek definitely going to keep this then we have these wave and nude spectrum blush palette so pretty right up my alley and then lastly, I have the Becca and Chrissy Teigen palette. Again, so freaking stunning. So I am going to hold on to this, which is actually not that bad. So I'm going to rearrange it very quickly. And since I still have some room left, I am going to keep this one by Primark. I know it's stupid, but I am. And then I'm just going to put these right there. All right, and that is everything that we are left with. I am really happy again with how this turned out. We got rid of a lot. I will show you guys what we got rid of. So this is a pile right here of everything that I am getting rid of, which is so good. And then this is what the drawer looks like now that we have decluttered it. That looks so, so, so much better if you ask me. So yeah, that wraps up this decluttering video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will leave my playlist down below. That way, if you guys want to see more decluttering videos, you can check out that playlist. But yeah, that is it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you and I'll see you all in the next one.